Welcome to Striking Options, the show that reveals the options you have to better navigate markets. I'm Jeff Kilberg, and we've adjusted our show until we get back into the studio. I'm joined today by Bob Icino. Welcome, Bob. Thanks, Jeff. It's good to talk to you. Great talking to you as always, Bob, and an exciting week. We will certainly be focused on the Fed's two-day meeting this week, but we are seeing equity markets overall remain quite optimistic. So let's discuss two topics today, if that's okay. I want to focus on the S&P 500 and the 10-year Treasury note. Sound good, pal? Yeah, that works for me. Well, let's get into the S&P 500 as it went green this week for the first time uh, in a long time here in 2020. But does this astonishing recovery rally have more room to run, Bob? Well, it could. I think you would uh, get a mix of answers if you if you ask people if we were going to go positive this year, given some of the headwinds uh, that the S&P 500 has. But given the performance that it's made already, you wipe out some of these shorts and potentially open up the room, some more room for the upside. Yes, I think in the futures market, we're seeing big movements overnight. So that's great to have access to the S&P 500 in these futures markets. But the breadth of the rally seems to be broadening in recent weeks. Is that a rotation more under current that we're seeing that we just didn't see in late March, early April? Yeah, it is a good thing. It's generally a healthy sign for the market, although historically that can actually uh, portend a little bit of a pullback, but it's likely that pullback is bought. Again, that's what happens historically. It doesn't mean it's going to happen this time. Okay, last question on the S&P 500, but is this movement, this optimistic rally as we saw the S&P 500 go green for 2020, is that due to the Federal Reserve, economies reopening globally, or is it more the vaccine hope? I think you actually put them in order. The Federal Reserve liquidity is a strong tailwind for the market, but obviously the reopening stimulates demand a little bit, and then vaccine hopes kind of wipes the problem of the pandemic sell-off out. All right. Well, that's awesome. And let's shift gear here, Bob, because I think all three of those points are really important for the active investor to understand. But shifting gear to the 10-year Treasury, it's interesting to see that how has it been attempting to move higher in the yield, closing in on 1%. But what is your expectations for yield this summer in the 10-year Treasury you know, as we continue to see volatility in that marketplace? Well, I think everybody likes to see it uh, rally a little bit towards that 1% level, maybe taking the idea of negative rates out. And also the curve has been steepening, although it's flat in the last three days. That's also potentially a, a positive for financials. Well, that's a great point. You bring up the steepening yield curve, which in essence means the longer dated relationship between the 10-year and the 30-year, there's more of a gap there. There's more dispersion, which allows the banks, the financials to participate potentially in earning and those profits associated with net interest margin. But let's talk about where the, the 10-year was. You know, a year ago, it was above 2%. Historical average is 4.46%, dating all the way back to when it started trading. But what are the expectations once we get back in this new normal going into the fall? Do we have the ability to kind of reclaim that 1.5%, 2% level? Or are we just in a new normal of lower interest rates in perpetuity? I think the amount of issuance we're seeing probably stops us from getting back to the old normal. Uh, but the Federal Reserve isn't going to like negative rates. So I think those two factors keep us somewhere around this 75 basis points to one and a quarter percent for the near future. All right, Bob. Well, thanks. As always, we want to thank you for tuning in to Striking Options. Please tune in every week as we will continue to Strike Options. 